Hello, Gemini. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading from July 3rd through July 10th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to make sure everybody check their um, sun, moon, and rising signs, and I'm wishing everybody a happy Independence Day. Um, and thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing, and uh, schedule, scheduling personal readings. And if you want one, check in the description box below, email me, and we can set that up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road, Gemini. Let's see what's been going on. What's going on for Gemini? Gemini. Ooh. For some of you... Mm, okay, this makes me feel like... Some of you are getting accused of sleeping with somebody and it's draining you. Or accused of doing something. I'm feeling like sleeping with somebody because this is the cheat, the sexing card. But it's reversed. So, like, something is mentally draining you about um, somebody saying you're sleeping with somebody but you being honest. So, I feel like somebody telling you you're doing something but you ain't doing it. Alright. But, let's keep going. What's going on for... Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini for the week of June 3rd through June 10th, 2017? Gemini, June, I mean July, 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 July 3rd through July 10th, 2017. July 3rd through July 10th, 2017. Gemini, love reading. All right, sorry, I missed up big time. Okay, so people are starting to look at things for what they are. That's a good start. And they're letting go of them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, whoo. Okay. So it's telling you to stop doing something. Let's see, what is this stop for for the Gemini? What is this... Endurance reverse for a Gemini. Why does the Gemini need to stop? Mm. Whoa. So, basically, you are leaving someone because you realize that for some reason you don't like them. Let's see why. But you're still accepting gifts from them. And it's telling you to stop accepting gifts if you're going to leave this person. Gemini. Alright, what is this letting go? What is this a drift about for the... Okay, Scorpio just popped in my head. But, um, what is this a drift about for the Gemini? What is this a drift about for the Gemini? Mm. So, I'm feeling like you don't need this person anymore. So, you're letting them go and you're looking at them for what they are. You're powerful enough to do whatever you need to do on your own. And... You ready, you ready to let them go, but you're still accepting gifts from them. Okay. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Because they're going to feel like they still own you. But let's keep it moving. Or this could be the other way around, too. Okay. So we got to hope these two fell out. So maybe you're traveling to see this person, and this person is traveling to see you probably within the next week. I'm saying usually when I see this card, it's like two or three days. If this if it hasn't already happened, it's gonna happen within two or three days that you're gonna let them go, or they're gonna try to come see you. Since it's here, I feel like they're gonna try to come see you after you let them go. But you gotta stop taking gifts because I feel like that might be the reason they're trying to come see you. Like, give me my stuff back. But possibly it could be something else. Yeah, here we go. Taking and taking and taking and not giving. Oh, greedy little Gemini. I don't know if I said this. This could be your partner too. So I don't know. Yeah. You're sacrificing a lot letting this go. But you want to be free. You're done. You don't want to deal with this situation no more. You got what you wanted. And now you're on your way. Alright. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Ooh. So. <laughs> so some of you are starting a new beginning, a new relationship. Or some of you are pregnant. But whatever this is, is a burden to you. If it's a new relationship, you feel like it's a burden. Or if it's a pregnancy. It might be a pregnancy. Hmm. 
Mm. Or you might just be real fertile right now because I saw the rapid success card. So it's like you're still taking gifts from this person and they think they can still have sex with you. You better watch out before they get you pregnant because you're fertile right now. Then you ain't going nowhere. All right, yeah. So you're still somewhat attracted to this person. So I don't understand why you're leaving. You just don't need them no more, I guess. You just like... I feel like you like this person, but you don't like their ways. That's what I'm saying. You're attracted to this person, but you don't like their ways. But you need to be careful. Because pregnancy is in the cards. Okay, so for some reason, something that this person doing is taking you to a negative place. Or maybe it could be you doing this using stuff that's taking you in a negative place. Like when you always scheming, you can't think about the big picture. Oh, okay. So this person might work with you or um, somebody is trying to protect them from you or you from them. Okay. All right. Cleo card straight out the book. What's going on with Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini for July? Third. Hmm. Alright, July 3rd through July 10th, 2017. Gemini. Love reading July 3rd through July. Okay, for some of you, it's your boss that you're dealing with. I'm not seeing any connections to some of you guys' boss. Like, I don't I don't feel like they're I feel like they might have kids, but I don't feel like they married. Or anything. I feel like they're dating, but they're not married. Okay. Yeah, somebody feel trapped. It might be your partner. It might be you if you get pregnant. So you better watch out. And if you're not pregnant, I feel like if it's the same sex, it's like don't sign any papers to uh, legally attach yourself to this person. Like you know you're going to leave. Don't sign up for like co-owner on a phone bill or a car you know because that's a way for them to keep you in their life this person is looking to keep you in their life and they're going to use what you really want right now to get you okay yep star card and then the blindly making a choice so you using they using what you really want to make you make that blind choice all right gemini 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 Four cups. Mm. Okay, the cups keep falling out and they all reverse. So, I mean, for some reason, so you had the ten of cups upright and you had the ten of coins upside down. I don't remember, so I'm not going to read it. But like that, tower. Ooh. Well, turn it down. You're going to turn them gifts down and they're going to be pissed. Five of Cups. Alright, seven of coins. Seven of swords. Alright. Towers first. Tower says. Alright, it's reverse. Evil niche and strong force. Yeah. If you just keep taking stuff from somebody and you don't want to be with them, they're gonna be pretty evil and nasty and they probably gonna to try to get revenge. I'm surprised we didn't see the Queen of Corn, uh, Swords anywhere. So we got the what is this? Page of Cups? That's turned down offers all day. They ain't gonna like that. Page of Cups. Okay guys, I can't find the cups. Alright, I found it. It's reversed. So, Manipulator, Insecure, Usury, Illusion, and Escape. Fantasy, unrealistic hopes are constant, often seeking short-lived escapes. So, yeah, you think you can get away with this. You're not going to be able to get away with this. Not at all. Being uh, deceitful and just still using until you can. You're going to get busted. You're going to get caught. You're going to get stuck with this person for a long time. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have? We have the five of cups. And that's in the upright. So it says a loss of some kind is indicated. The realization of something which was believed in was not true. Tendencies of drug and alcohol abuse. 
So, I don't know. I'm feeling like this is the person that's being used that's going to end up doing the alcohol and stuff. And I feel like they're going to try to take revenge after that. I feel like revenge is behind this. You know, I know I didn't say it in the cards, but that's just what I'm feeling right now. Like right now, I just feel so angry. <laughs> All right, so last card is the Seven of Swords. And it's reversed. So it says...